I'm with Bob Burke. Bob, I live in Burke County, so that's kind of cool. And Bob is with LG. And I've been looking at 4K televisions, thinking about buying one. Bob, what is really cool about the LG? Well, there are actually three things that set LG's 4K televisions apart from the others. And I, I, sometimes I think we're not really thinking about what 4K will do for us. Mm -hmm. Number one is that LG, LG is the only 4K television that is native 240 hertz. Okay, so, so the refresh rate is really the high. The refresh rate is really high. So that oh, means action is going to look sharp, right? The, what I mean... Because what, what, what I'm not seeing on these demos is action. I'm seeing lots of pretty flowers. I and understand that. And, yeah. and it's, but basically, anytime we talk about a refresh rate or how many hertz yeah. the television yeah. has, that means how many times per second we flash the image onto the screen. Yes. And the faster we flash, flash it on the screen, the less blur you're going to see exactly. in fast-moving exactly. images. Exactly. Okay, so that's so, that. So LG has 240. 240. Does everybody else have 120? Everybody else has 120. Ooh, okay. nice little feature there okay. for LG, yeah. Now, <laughs> the second thing is that LG, now, yeah. let's talk about what the television is going to do for you today because everybody's feedback right now is We don't have 4K content, exactly, right? Exactly, there's right. no 4K content. So why should I buy 4K television? It's coming. Well, it's coming, and yeah. we also always talk about future-proofing but one of the big things that LG has that's gonna help you today is it has a four-stage upscaler. Now what that means is if you only have cable, you know that the maximum you can get through cable is 720p. It's really, okay, yes, 7.3. So, 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 so you're, already, you're, you're already used to upscaling anyway with your 1080p television. Right, but with a four, exactly right. But with a four-stage upscaler, it's going to upscale that image and then it'll upscale again and again and again. So even using ultra high depth, it's going to give you the very best picture you can possibly get in today's So you're gonna get the best picture you can for your 1080p content that you have today. Exactly So right. your So your Blu-ray disc of The Hobbit is gonna look still way better than it's gonna look your on your 1080p Blu -ray television. Your Blu-ray disc is actually going to upscale all the way to 2165. Yeah, So it's gonna give you a fantastic image. Now, the third thing about LG, you know, of course, LG is the largest flat panel manufacturer in the world. And we build what's called the that. IPS panel. That stands for in-plane switching. Now, you don't need to know all this, right. but what an IPS panel is going to give you, it's going to give you wider viewing angles, richer, truer colors, and a more stable, blur-free panel. Okay. 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 Now, I'll show you a little trick here for you guys. Follow me. Okay. This is not a, an ultra high def, but this is an IPS panel. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, and, and you're going to have to work with me here because I'm going to show you two TVs, but I don't want you to so show the brand on the second one. Okay. I, I can blur it out. Okay. Is that okay. cool? That's fine. I promise you I'll do it. And okay. I'll, I'll send you a link to this too, what Bob. What I want to do is I want to show you, this is the IPS panel. Now look okay. what's happening. There, there's, no, there's no little there's blurry no, thing. Nothing. There's no little, because the little specs will show up. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I see you're beating this it pretty hard. I'm, yeah. I'm trying very hard. He's not making, there's no little blur, no, no little weirdness. Nothing. Now, Sweet. come around uh, here to the TV. Uh, now, and, and we'll yeah. block out the name. We're gonna, don't want to show uh, this television. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. But now, watch this. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not showing what TV is. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Now, I've see, see, I've seen this before on my TV. Okay, there you go. Now, what that's really showing you is how solid and stable the LG IPS panels are and how well built they are. Wow. So that's what's going to LG is made in Korea. So made in Korea. Korea. Now your yeah. best electronics in today's market are coming from South Korea. I agree. I agree. And uh, yeah. it used to be when I was younger, it was Japan. Yeah, exactly. But of course now Japan has gotten where their costs are as high or higher than the United States. So we can't afford the labor. Yeah. So your best electronics are coming from Korea. And then of course your less expensive ones are coming from China. But China is still what China always has been. Yeah, yeah, well. Uh, your inexpensive product. Exactly, you know? exactly. But I have been the LG rep in this market in the Charlotte, Greenville, Columbia for the last four years. You were awesome, brother. I love working <laughs> for them because yeah. we build an extremely high quality product at a fair price. So. I, I, I have one of my one of my TVs is LG. I will go ahead and say one of mine is Vizio. Okay. I should, uh, I, but um, now that you've shown me some of this, I'll probably make the LG. So I'm very happy with my other LG. Okay. And so, outstanding. So 240K, uh, 240, 240 hertz. Kil kil hertz, a refresh. We got a really super nice screen and four great stage, upscaling. Four stage, four stage upscaler upscaling. On, on LG's UHD. So. When, when, will, when do you, and I don't want to keep you from your, I know you got your travels to do, but when should we expect players 
that'll play 4K. That's really interesting because there are, are there's a company called Oppo that's out there that is actually developing a player, but the problem is there's no discs. It's a multi-layer yeah. disc that's required for UHD. It's a lot of data. A lot of data. Uh, I know that most Blu-rays are encoded at about 16 gigs or 16 megs per second. So I would imagine a 4K would have to be probably four times that, probably about 50 or 60 gig pro megs per second. You're talking about streaming? Streaming, them at will, yeah. If you are streaming 4K content through the internet, you really should have a minimum of 25 megs per second, which in, in, in that's going to be um, uh, your upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or I don't know what the local Like the little, the, the little GoPro I'm shooting this with right now right. shoots 4K video at 15 frames per second, which is amazing, but none of us can watch it. We don't get to actually see 4K video. The interesting thing about 4K currently yeah. is that with our current technology, you can't run it through HDMI. Ultra high def is actually processing at 30 frames per second yeah. or 30 hertz. So I can't show a 15 frame per second video. Uh, maybe. Oh, I, I, might, I, we might, might be able to. You should be able yeah. to, yes. Now, what's going to happen is when the new uh, 2014 models uh, arrive, they will all have the new HDMI 2.0. Now, all of the HDMI cable TV, uh, excuse me, all the HDMI inputs in televisions now are HDMI 1.4. That's been the okay. standard for years. Okay, so we're getting ready to see new HDMI. We're going to new HDMIs, which are gonna be your HDMI 2.0. Now, what that's going to allow is for much faster processing, wider bandwidth, which means that 4K is actually going to process at 60 hertz wow. or 60 frames per second. 60 frames per second. So we got yeah. 60p right. 480 or, or 4K. 60p 4K yes. video is what yes. we're going to see. Yes. So that's probably what the players will support then in the future, we would and, imagine. Yeah, now the, the other thing that we have is LG builds, uh, of course, told you about their, our status in the panel building industry. Last year, do you know what a codec is? Yeah, yeah, code decode. I, I, I'm a video. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm a video guy. Last year, LG developed a new codec. Something beyond H.264. Yes, this is actually 265. Hey, oh, okay. LG is okay. LG oh, folks, this is cool. And built H.265. So what? Okay. What's it? What does H.265 allow us to do? Well, HEVC is what we call it, which is high efficiency video coding. Now this sounds impossible for those of us that have been around the industry for a while. Because H.264 has been around for seven or eight years, right. eight or nine years. And yeah. usually when you compress something, you're going to lose some quality. Yes. Okay. With, with the new 265 or HEVC, it actually compresses it down to about 20% of its original size, processes it through the television at a much higher speed, then decompresses it and delivers it to the panel and its original form with zero loss of quality. So we're talking about code, decode, with zero loss of quality. Zero loss of quality. That's right. what codec stands for, folks. Right. Those are you don't know. Wow. So H two sixty five is on its way. Absolutely. Actually, it's here. LG has actually been building the new uh, codec in all of our four uh, K panels since last October. And wow. I, now other companies have not yet adopted it and begun using it, but because it was so well written, it is going to be the industry standard. Folks, you heard it here <laughs> with Bob from LG. You're just awesome, my friend. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could help. I hope that no, helps. No, seriously, I'm going to recommend that everybody really look hard at the LG 4K televisions. A lot of my followers are in the UK. It would be available in England about the same time it is in America. From what I understand, uh, most LG products are actually released in Europe and Asia before Ahead of us. they come to the United States. Wow, so you may um, be seeing a 4K that has H.265 capability for the future, built in for the future, in the next, what would we say, next, this, sometime, now. right now. Yeah, our ultra high oh. def televisions, like I said, every panel we've built since last October, has the new codec built in it. Now the one you showed me was not an Ultra HD, but is there one here? Is, uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go look at one. Do you have one here? There is not one here. It's coming. There is not one here. This is a this is a smaller store. Is there so one in Hickory? Uh, the Hickory store does have one, yes. We're going to Hickory tonight. We're gonna look at Ultra HD LG at uh, the Hickory Best Buy. I'll actually have a Morgan or Valdez area. So, okay. So I'll go up there and I'll, I'll get some and I'll show it to Good. you. Bob, thanks so much. You.